What is going on guys? It is the morning and we are driving to Costco. We have about a 20 minute drive to get to the Costco parking lot and we should have like five minutes to spare so we can make that Costco drop. And then um, I'll show you guys whatever we get. I'm hoping for something good because Monday mornings are usually pretty nice over here. So we'll uh, see what happens. Hopefully we're able to start this week off with a, a nice batch. So I'll see you guys in a little. All right, not sure if you guys can see that, but we are indeed at Costco and I'm just waiting for the drop right now. I'm just refreshing and I've noticed a huge decline in like the amount of orders I'm seeing just because of my ratings going down. So I don't know why, but I got another four star rating. I've been fighting this for like two months and I'm doing a good job. Produce has been on point and I have never delivered something damaged and every time I can't find something I let the customer know I try to make replacements and if they don't approve the replacement I'm not giving it to them just because that gets us in trouble so I've been doing as good as I can and I just cannot get rid of this rating so wish me luck hopefully we're able to get another good rating here and um people are going crazy on the reddit page like usual anyways I'll see you guys whenever we get a decent batch I see this batch, but 31 miles is kind of intense, and it's a lot of items for a Costco order. So I'm gonna wait. Usually Costco, at least here, drops in like two different segments. Um, you have like the far orders, and then orders that are a lot closer that drop closer to 10. So these are all the batches that are like more far away. So let's wait for a batch that's closer and see if we can get something at least around $30 so we can get to that $30 an hour target. I definitely, I'm noticing a difference with my ratings being this low, that is for sure. But uh, I have two Costco's in my area. I have one that's 10 minutes closer into the city and that drop happened. I thought it was the drop for here. So I'm trying to swipe the $70 batch that I saw and then that gets taken like as soon as I click on it and then I saw a 50 and I'm trying to swipe it and it didn't go through as well. And then I realized it's, it's not even the Costco I want. I still would have taken those batches because those are nice numbers, but I ended up finally waiting for the drop to happen here. And um, we got a 33. It only has like 10 items. So I'm gonna go and do that order. It should only take us about like probably 10 minutes in the store and then drop off maybe, it was like 12 miles. So probably 30, 40 minutes for drop off. So if we get this done in about an hour, that's $30 an hour, as long as we come back here and swipe another order. Just gonna be harder with this rating today, but um, we'll manage. I do wanna give some advice today on finding more batches because like I was saying, I'm getting the Costco drop for areas I'm not even at right now. Because like I was saying earlier, I got a Costco drop for a Costco that's 10 minutes away from me. And I would never even see orders at that store if it wasn't for advice that I want to share with you guys in this video that hopefully can help you guys if you guys aren't seeing batches. So anyways, I'm going to go crush this order and I will be back and uh, show you how things went. All right, so first order, you can see some stuff back there, two waters. And the second order is not too bad, mostly just like toilet paper and paper towels. Overall, the batch went pretty well. I spent about five minutes trying to get my headphones to work and then I had to give up. I only was shopping for like eight minutes anyways, minus the time trying to figure out my uh, earbuds, but I did that before I started shopping. So I'll try and figure that out while I'm waiting for a, a batch because I really like shopping with music. It really helps like keep me concentrated and I'm less stressed out when I'm dealing with replacements. But other than that, the order went fine. Um, first drop off is in an apartment and that's the order with the water. So it's not a big deal. Um, it's only two waters and it looks like they're on the first floor actually so that is a blessing from the instacart gods so that could have been a lot worse but hey i'm not going to get too excited until i drop those off then i'll be excited so it's uh 13 minutes away so i'm gonna go ahead and do that order and uh i'll probably meet you guys back when i'm looking for another batch so hopefully you get one fast so anyways just dropped off that uh first batch and the apartment complex was laid out really weird and um, I eventually figured it out but the address kind of like, the address was fine but the GPS would take me to like some random place on the street. Like it was annoying but we figured it out. I was hoping the customer would come out but they never did because I wanted to for sure like 
handed to them so there wasn't any like controversy of whether or not it actually got delivered so I just made sure to take a good picture with the address in the picture so hopefully that is all they need and um, yeah I'm gonna drop off the next one it's seven minutes away the whole address ordeal did slow me down probably another 10 minutes which stinks but it is what it is so I'll see you guys in a little all right, so we just got back to Costco after our last order and we got another order, but it's only for $20, but it's pretty easy. It's only like 11 items at an HEB. The only thing that stinks is that this order is actually taking place where we just dropped off. So I kind of wasted some time driving all the way back to Costco, but it is what it is. I could have never known that. So we're gonna go ahead and do this order and get it out of the way pretty fast, hopefully under an hour. Um, we're not quite doing 30 an hour, we're a little under, so we're going to try and pick up some pace, but it's kind of hard because we're basically just limited by what batches we're seeing today. Alright, so that is the order all in here. And I'm asking the customer to see if they want this box, so if they do, I'll just throw it all in there. Might make things easier for them. I think that order took me about 15 minutes, so not too bad. I wanted to get it done a bit sooner, but um, I couldn't find these tamales that they wanted. Not a big deal. Um, I did get an energy drink because I'm tired already. And something else I wanted to mention, I've been talking about asking customers if they want boxes or not, um, mostly for Costco, but I just so happen to have an extra one for HEB, so I'm asking them too, just to see if they want it. Um, when it comes to Costco, I still ask customers if they want boxes or not because they take up recycling bins so fast. So today I asked another customer, sure enough, they did not want the box. So I used it to transport everything, and um, then I just kept the box for myself so they're not filling up the recycling bin, especially if they live in apartments. It can be even more annoying to deal with these big, huge boxes, especially if they have a big order. So yeah, just a little bit of advice. That is something I figured out recently, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and drop this order off. It's about 12 minutes away. All right, so that order is done with. It is currently 12.13, which means we have been working for two hours since I started our first batch. So we are at 53 and some change, which puts us around 26 an hour, which isn't too bad, but by the time I get back to the store, we're gonna have some dead time that's gonna affect our rate, unless if we get some like crazy batch. Um, so today's not doing the best, but it's kind of to be expected whenever your ratings drop like mine, then you don't see the crazy batches that you used to see when you're at five stars or even 4.98. The customer did want the box. Everything was able to fit in the box, so it just makes it a little easier for the customer to take everything in at once. They're not having to make multiple trips back and forth to the front door. So if you guys think about it, you guys can grab some extra boxes in the morning at Costco and then use them for other orders if customers like them. Having a ton of boxes is good even if you just use it to transport things from your car to their door and if they don't want the box then just keep it. I personally have a laundry basket that is specifically just used for Instacart. It's brand new and um, I just use it to transport things for like apartments but if you guys don't want to buy a laundry basket you guys can just use a Costco box because they usually have bins just full of boxes. That or Sam's whatever you guys have near you. But yeah, 25 an hour right now, it's probably gonna go down to like 23, but still it's better than my last job. So I'll take that. And we're probably gonna spend about 10 bucks on gas today at most because we're driving a Civic. This is a very bumpy road, so I'm gonna go ahead and get off because I have a feeling you guys can barely hear me, but I'll see you guys on the next order. All right, so we just got another batch for $43. I just took it because it's that time of the day where it just kind of gets a little quiet. So rather than sitting around, I am driving back to where I actually live in that town. And I'm going to do this $43 order and probably just stay there for the rest of the day. If everything is in stock by some miracle, then we will be at around $96 for the day. Which uh, isn't the best I've done, but still compared to other markets, it's going to be pretty good. It is 40 items, so that kind of stinks. And I do have to drive about 20 minutes to the store, but it's better than sitting around. So I'm going to go ahead and do this order and then hope for a decent order in my town. Usually doesn't happen. For the most part, they're all just a bunch of small orders. So wish me luck. 
luck because I'm gonna need it today. Finally done with that order. This like specific HEB is currently under construction so it's very hard to shop here and there's just a lot of missing items especially at the store so I had to do several refunds on bigger things and several replacements so this order is probably going to go down I would say probably to like 40 so probably go down three bucks um, I have a 16 drive to their house and it's a, a do not knock or ring doorbell order so hopefully I remember that yeah it wasn't too bad I just uh I hate all the refunds that I've been having to do lately and it doesn't just affect my income but it also affects my ratings because people think I'm I'm not searching for their things well and uh, it just stinks so I'm, I've been getting a lot of low ratings because of the low stock lately but it is what it is we can't control it and um, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off it's only one customer so that's definitely nice I don't have to do two drop offs so it'll save me a little bit of time then we'll be on the search for another batch so that order went down only I think a dollar and a half so not too bad for refunding a four pack of Red Bulls and some protein shakes. That was a really generous customer, so that was pretty awesome. And I think we're right at four hours of work so far. And um, we are at 95. So just for easier math's sake, let's pretend like we're at 100. If you divide that by four, we're around 25 an hour, which isn't bad. Goal's 30, but I will take 25. I'm gonna be on the lookout for another batch and where I'm at right now, usually there aren't a ton of big batches, so I'll probably have to take a few small ones that or do a few favor orders. And um, favor basically is HEB's like delivery company, similar to Instacart in a way, but you don't have to shop always. You're able to do delivery onlys. And um, if you find a generous customer, it could pay out pretty well, but that's kind of a hit or miss. Either way, it, it pays decent. So I'll see you guys in a little and I'll update you guys on whatever happens next. So coming out here was definitely a mistake. I was thinking that I could at least get a batch like right off the bat, but I've been sitting here for probably 30 minutes, no batch. So that sucks, but I thought it would be a decent time to uh, give some advice on finding more batches in your area. So something I did recently that helped me see more batches was actually traveling down closer into town and shopping at a store I usually don't shop at. So personally, I shop right on the outskirts of a big city, but I went just slightly more into the city and did some shopping at some new stores. Now what happened after doing this was even when I was back home all the way in my other town or on the outskirts of the big city, I was seeing those batches that were close to me but in the city. Basically I'm seeing batches of stores that are in different counties but they're still like 10 minutes away. This has doubled how many batches I've been seeing lately at least during the Costco drop. I see the Costco drop where I'm at and then I see the Costco drop at a nearby Costco just 10 minutes away. Now if I never shopped at that other Costco I would have never seen those batches. So for whatever reason, as soon as I go into that area, Instacart sees, oh, he shops in this county as well, so we will show him batches there. You're probably not going to be seeing the batches first, but you're still going to be seeing some more batches. So if you're in a desperate time and you're not seeing anything, at least you guys are opening up some other possibilities in the area. If you guys are in a small town, this might not help you as much as someone in a bigger town, but it's something that I've been using lately and it has helped me out a bunch. So what you guys can do is you guys could go to the map on the homepage on Instacart and you guys could kind of just zoom in to your city or town and look for nearby stores. So find a new store and maybe after a Costco drop someday, go to one of these new stores, just do an order, get your account open to shopping at that area and then just start shopping like normal. So that is just some advice that I personally found recently. I hope that this helps you guys see more batches because I have been seeing, at least on the Reddit page, that a lot of you guys just aren't seeing batches anymore. So maybe that'll help, maybe it won't, but it's worth a try. So just when I was about to call it quits, we got another order, $28. And um, it's 28 items and it's 10 miles. So it's a lot more miles, but it's not a big deal for 28. I'll take that. And it's probably gonna be my last order because I was already thinking about calling it quits. So that's pretty sweet that I got this order. That'll put me close to like 130, which if I'm having like a bad day with Instacart, I usually try to get to at least 130. So um, 
yeah, we're on track to have a decent day still. My hourly rate isn't as good as it was recently, but it's still gonna be um, better than some other jobs that I've had, so I'm happy with that. So that order took me 40 minutes to shop for like 30 items. She added a few things, so I was kind of bouncing around the store, but I'm totally fine with that because that means the pay is gonna go up slightly, but I also had to refund a bunch of stuff, so maybe it'll stay the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop all this off and then I will get back on and we'll see how we did. We'll go over today. So hopefully I'm able to get home before it's dark. All right, so we just dropped off our last order and we made $126 today. Calling it quits a little early just because I have some stuff to do at home like I was talking about. But we did four batches today. We had uh, the $33 batch, we had the $20 batch, a $41 batch, and then a 31. So that last order I did, did go up um, a couple bucks, even with all the replacements, just because they added some stuff. So four batches, we made about $21 an hour. I just did the math, so pretty good. And uh, for a lot of you, that's probably a more realistic number because it kind of shows you that not every day is amazing. I'm not making $36 an hour every day by any means. It's just one of those things that, yes, it's possible, but it's probably not gonna be happening daily for you. $21 an hour is still pretty good, I will take that. And that was me mostly shopping in a pretty slow town. So I did sit around for a while and kind of cherry pick orders. Not the way Instacart probably wants me to do things, but I was trying to find a bigger order so I could get closer to my goal. Just because there weren't a lot of batches coming through. And the only batch I really saw besides the ones I took was a $16 batch. So yeah, I sat around a lot today, which kind of killed my hourly rate, but it is what it is. At the end of the week, everything kind of averages pretty well. So I might have one or two really crappy slow days like this. Then I'll have several good days where I make $200. So don't let the bad days set you back. Hopefully we're able to get some reviews. I didn't see any yet, which kind of stinks, but we'll see what happens. So anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully tomorrow is a little bit better than today.